Hello everybody, Justin here from Adventure Away Vacations, and today we are going to be talking about Universal Orlando Annual Passes. But be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date and hear any and all tips and tricks we may be sharing for Universal Orlando. Now, there are two types of annual passes, the two-park and three-park annual passes. Your two park annual passes range from $425 all the way up to $905, depending on which pass you choose. We will be talking about each pass in their entirety in this video. The three park annual passes range from $525 all the way up to $1,095. Now, the only difference between the two and the three park is obviously you get to go to Volcano Bay with the three park, whereas you'd have to pay regular admission for the two park. Now, the different types of passes you have the seasonal pass, which is your baseline seasonal pass. Next up, you have your power pass, which you get a few more benefits over the seasonal. After that, you have the preferred pass, which again, you get a few more perks over the power pass and then lastly you have your premier pass which is the top of the line seasonal pass as well as the most expensive annual pass the universal offers now let's get into some of the benefits for each annual pass with the power preferred and premier annual passes you are able to use the flex pay option that universal offers flex pay is you pay a down payment and then you pay zero percent interest monthly on your annual passes until they are paid off. You pay a set amount each month thereafter. With each annual pass, except for Premier, you are subject to block out dates, which means you are not able to get into the parks for that certain day. We will cover that here after we talk about how much the flex pay options are. Here are the flex pay options for each of the passes that it is available for. I'm not gonna read them to you. You can pause the video and take notes of which pass you're interested in and what your payments would be. Now we have to talk about the dreaded blockout dates that the seasonal power and preferred passes are subject to. Now, these blockout dates for the regular parks, not including Volcano Bay, are only subject to the power and seasonal passes. The preferred pass does not have any blockout dates. These are the blockout dates for Universal Studios, which is the original park. Now for Islands of Adventure, these are your blockout dates for seasonal and power passes. Again, preferred does not have any blockout dates for the regular theme parks. Pause the video and take notes of these, and they are also available on Universal's website as well. Now, if you get three park annual pass, these are your blockout dates if you have the seasonal power or preferred pass. If you have the seasonal or power pass, you're basically blocked out all summer. You cannot go to Volcano Bay. Preferred, you have a little bit more flexibility in the beginning of summer, but towards the end, you are blocked out as well. The only way to be having access to Volcano Bay all summer is to get the Premier Pass. So if that's important to you, the Premier Pass is the way to go. Now, for those of you who are interested in the Premier Seasonal Pass, listen up. You get, with the Premier Seasonal Pass, Express Pass access after 4 p.m. at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. You also get free valet and self-prime parking after your first visit. You obviously have to pay for your first visit because you pick up your Seasonal Pass at Guest Services. For those of you who are looking at the Power or Preferred Pass, the Power Pass gets 50% off of regular parking, but the Preferred Pass, you get free parking, so that saves you $30 a day you are at Universal. So on a four-day trip, that saves you $120 right there if you have the Preferred Pass. Now for your Preferred and your Premier Seasonal Pass holders, you get early park admission to... Universal Studios, and Islands of Adventure. Now, for the Preferred Pass, you do have blockout days for this. So some days you cannot get early park admission. If you have the Premier Annual Pass, you get early park admission. Every day it's offered at either Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure. Those dates are available 
on the Universal website if you're curious at the days. They do change periodically. Now for the Premier and the Preferred Pass, you do get a discount on food, merchandise, and specialty items in the park and at CityWalk. For the Preferred Pass, it's mainly 10% off of just about anything. With the Premier Pass, though, you get 15% off of basically everything except for Bubba Gump's. But every seasonal pass does offer hotel discounts through Universal. The Premier Pass does get you a ticket to Halloween Horror Night. All of the annual passes, except for the seasonal pass, does get you admission to select events and concerts. Now, you will have to get the information of which ones you are able to get off of the Universal website. However, you also get discounts on theme park tickets. For each annual pass holder that is present at the gate, they can buy discounted tickets, up to six discounted tickets at the gate every time you are at the parks. So you can get six people in at a discounted rate for every annual pass that is present. Now, if you're still watching this video, I do greatly appreciate it. And please remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date. But you might be asking, hey, Justin. That's all well and good with all of this stuff, but how much does this stuff actually cost, and is the annual pass actually worth the money? Well, let's take a look at this. So, for a trip in September, you have $331 per adult ticket. Now, with tax, you are looking at $352.51. So, that is per trip. Now, you take two trips in a 12-month period, you pay for parking every one of those days, you're going to be paying $885. You up that to three trips, you're going to be over $1,300. Now remember, that was for the two park, park to park tickets. That was not including Volcano Bay in this. So if you make two trips in a year, you are already paying more than if you would just buy the preferred pass. Buying the preferred pass you get free parking, remember that, so you're not paying for parking anymore. If you would step up to the Premier Pass, you're gonna be paying just shy of about $1,000 per pass. Now, if you remember, you paid almost $900 just for the tickets and parking. That does not get you any of the perks that the annual passes get you. So, if you plan on using the annual passes more than twice a year, it's probably worth it. Between the savings of the day-to-day -day tickets and the parking, plus whatever you buy in the park, you will save money, especially if you go more than twice a year. Two times a year is about your break-even. If we go to the three park, park to park passes, if you are into Volcano Bay, into water parks, and you're going to be going more than once or twice a year, then look at your three parks. We are three parks, same time frame, it's going to be about $403. So, if we take two trips in a year, 12-month period, you're going to be paying $985 for parking and the tickets. That does not include food or anything else extra you buy. If you take three trips, if you go three times in a 12-month period, you're paying almost $1,500 per person. So, right off the bat, if you go twice a year, you will be better off buying the preferred pass, which is $740 before tax. If you go more than twice a year, the Premier Pass is the way to go. So final thoughts here. If you are a Florida resident and are close to the parks, you do get special pricing. I would definitely take advantage of that special pricing if you are a Florida resident. If you live outside of Florida like I do in West Virginia, you have to pay the pricing which was in this video as of June of 2023. If you go twice a year or more, highly consider getting the annual pass. It will save you money. We are taking four weekend trips as of right now in a 12 month period. This will save us a boatload of money. We got the premier passes so we can take advantage of the premier pass holder benefits. I hope you enjoyed this video and took some good information away from it. If you did enjoy this video and are still here, thank you very much. And please remember to like and subscribe for more universal tips and tricks that will be on this channel. Thanks and have a good day.